Harikatul Asoh ve Hayrun Fi Cemiyah Medet ya Sultanul Enbiya Medet ya Sultanul Enbiya Ya Ricalallah We ask The friends of God Our Grand Sheikh For spiritual Support And permission The Lord says What do you know to claim to know anything? Maybe all that you think that is good for you is actually bad for you? And what is bad for you is actually what you think is bad for you is good for you actually. You have no clue. So how do you even want to claim to know anything? That is an ayat verse in the Holy Quran. And without any permission, we cannot sit here and tell you anything. Out of our own thinking, out of our own knowledge, because eventually it will turn out that we know anything or nothing even. And that is why we ask for support that the all-knowing is supporting us with his knowledge so that we shall go to bed with a, a white vest, with a clear conscience. So to go to bed with a clear conscience. The human says, the human is on a journey. And what do you think? Why the Lord has created the human being? Only the human being he created. And only the human beings got there talent, the skill to it, because of talents, he's got the opportunities to be on a journey from pre-eternity and to past, uh, post-eternity. Non-stop journey, and only a true human being can do that. The destiny of a human being is to be on a journey. And that's how the beloved Prophet wasallam, be on a journey. So you shall find health. Be on a journey, so you shall find happiness everlasting. Be on a journey, O you human beings, so that you shall find ease. As the soul of every human being doesn't love monotony. The soul of every human being all, wants all the time to be on a journey or is on a journey constantly with their Lord and just like the soul of every human being has this inner yearning to go on a journey with whom, with whom he found and to be a good company with or he feels close to always on a journey to be all and to uh, with whom he always wants to be on a journey and never stop those who are are stopping are not on our path so what does it mean whose day from yesterday resembles the day of yesterday they lost that day if yesterday you caught a fish 
Today you have to catch two fishes. If you call if you caught two fishes today, so tomorrow you have to catch three fishes. And more and more the more so that you shall reach the ocean and then if you dive into an endless ocean, they will never get up again because in that inside that ocean there are more worlds hidden inside than outside of that ocean. If you enter an atom like that into the smallest particle of all material of all matter, my brother, in that small very atom, the, the smallest part of being they can find in all of creation of God endless width and endless worlds and outside of that atom, no but inside of that atom, yes if you go inside further and further and further and it gets even broader and wider and not closer and tighter isn't it interesting? From something that is so small, such a big thing is um, coming out, subhanAllah. Is that going against the physical laws? It should be, right? Isn't it? It's illogical that an ant is turning into an elephant. But Allah makes it possible, actually, and that the human being is on a journey, and the journey starts small and increases more and more into the endless width. So how does a human being go on a journey on his earth? On a heavenly journey as being a, announced, and how does that heavenly journey shall have taken place? You, you need a train, the Oriental Express, right? No. Do you know that? The Oriental Express, no. It's the Heavenly Express. Heavenly Express. Or the Heavenly Express. Heaven. Heavenly Express. If you truly want to go on a journey, your journey should doesn't have an end station, a final destination, so it shall be fun. Because a final destination, you have to get off. Like, out of what? from all their journey and because your journey comes to an end so it's better not to get off only get in but never get off get in that train in the train of God and you are sitting inside, but you still need some more to actually start your journey and to keep on moving. So what does it mean? What does it take? You need a locomotive and actually a, a conductor of the locomotive. The train is his school, and that's the sheikh, and that's the one who is the locomotive conductor, and then you. you. And then let's go on on our travel with the sheikh. The Sharia law and the belief of Islam is like a ramp. 
you need. Sharia means it's uh, the rules for this world of this, the foundation of your own existence to hold them up. And those who are showing good manners according to those manners and rules of the rules of the Lord, they may enter that train and get onto that, onto the rocket of. That is Tadika, that is Sufism, that is the spiritual train we're talking about. But you need to follow the rules. Those are behaving well in this material mortal world and is actually is showing up decent and follows the rules, they shall take a seat in that train. Only those with a clear vest, with a white vest, and then you shall start your journey. But those conditions have to be followed. Without watching Sharia law and what the stop signs are, and someone has, once you, without you being uh, someone with good manners, you cannot even enter that train of God. There, these are the conditions for that. You need to be someone who can actually behave themselves. And then you'll be one of the chosen ones of God that actually got that ticket to participate in that heavenly journey. And only those people can not with closed eyes, but with open eyes, open heart, open ears, travel on his journey, wherever he guides them to, and you will follow. You don't have to be a sheikh. Just be well-behaved. Be someone who, who knows how to behave respectfully and to follow the rules. Everything else the Sheikh does for you. He takes you on his journey. But with whom is the Sheikh on a travel, on a journey? Who gives him what route to take? And that is the Prophet who tells him what route to take. He is with the Prophet and he is with him on a journey. And the Prophet is always with his Lord on his journey. And in that way, we start our journey. And for that, we have Tadikat, which is the journey from God to God. The journey from God with the God to God. But you have to realize yourself and recognize that you are a citizen of the God, that you are a citizen of God, that you are part of the people of God. And to be a people of God means to be a well-behaved, good-mannered people and not the normal people, not to be a meaningless people, but full of good manners. If someone dies, they say, from Allah we came and we go back to Allah about that person who tasted death, we have to say that. If we hear somebody died, as a believer, we have to recite that ayat verse. So why do we recite that? To remind ourselves that we came from Allah ourselves and we will have to return to Allah, even if you want to or not, voluntarily or involuntarily, or with a kick to the ass, or voluntarily, I will go 
by myself in owners. If you get a kick in the ass, you are left without owners. And you're being, and then you have to return full of shame. In this ayat verse, in the Quran, it opens, from, from Allah we come and we go back to Allah. It means you are on a journey. This world is just a station in between. A, a station in between or level in between to realize something. for realizations, what you should do, what we should collect them, those realizations in this world, to get up to a certain level of un understanding from where we come and where we will go back to, not drunken or in a coma or um, unconscious, but to actually become conscious of by whom you from whom you're actually coming from and to whom you will ac eventually go. In this place, only in this world, you can achieve that. That's the chance you have here to gain consciousness and to reach higher levels of consciousness and to ask for that as well. That's our chance and we should take that opportunity. That life on earth is just like a life of a dog. No. Don't whine, don't complain. That's just a chance and opportunity for you. No matter how many pain or tests you have or that you have to face and then you are in pain. But everything, all that's happening is giving you, is preparing you for a higher level of understanding and more and more and more you understand. And this is your chance. Consciously in the hereafter to live life. We were all we are always with God. Before our existence on earth. We from eternity to eternity, ever since Allah exists and He exists from eternity until post-eternity, so constantly there, and you, my brother, are always with him. But do you remember that time? No. Why? Because you were lying in a coma or uh, went unconscious. I got a little operation on my um, meniscus um, nerve and they gave me, gave me a big syringe And from down there, I saw I have got two legs, but I didn't feel anything that I have two legs. I only see the, the picture of two legs, but there is nothing there. Everything I only see the picture, but because in my brain there is consciousness, but down there, because of the... It is... Uh, had fallen asleep and 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 then they start operating on it and cut and said oh my goodness thank goodness i don't fear anything down there what happens if that would have gone up that anesthesia up um, to the upper body of the anesthesia you would have been under fully nakita and this is so with the half said uh, anesthesia, you can recognize everything. And I thought about everything and watched what happened. So it's unalived, it's, but it, it is alive, but why doesn't it is alive again? Later on it will get life again, but what kind of a phenomenon is that? To be under fully narcotic, you will lay there, but you yourself are not there. Where are you? You don't know that as. As well. Where are you? No, nowhere. Who are you? Nobody. Even that you cannot know that you are nobody. You are just not there. But a witness standing right beside you can say, yes, you 
You are actually existed. Lazarus, come on. Get up. Okay. You yourself cannot be a witness to yourself. And the Lord says, Allah is the witness, the shaheed, that is one of his names. And that is the meaning of that, one of the many meanings of that one name, he says, he tells us. Why, I ask myself, why is he calling himself the witness? Because only he has been witness to our own existence. But we ourselves have no clue and had no clue that we actually existed. For us to get a, a glimmer of, of what is happening, he sent us into this world of, of self-realization, of recognizing yourself. And this is a, a cabinet, a mirror cabinet, of many, mirac many mirrors, house of mirrors. And that's why he says, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the believer, the believer is a mirror to the believer. Now we understand that hadith saying of the Prophet. Stop looking for anything. I tell you everything you need to know. The mu'min is the mirror to an, another uh, believer. And we are all with a human that we can realize ourselves while looking at the others around here. Oh my goodness, that's how I look like? That that face, is, facial experience, I have that inside of me as well, that, that bad behavior I got myself. So I should not be like that. I shouldn't look like that. I sh I'm not allowed to look like them. I shouldn't look like them. I should look like that now, if they look good, right? That is for you to realize yourself, what, uh, what the other person has as well, you have yourself. The science says from there, because of the genes, not from yawning, but from genes. So these are the genes, the genetics of Adam, what he got, we have ourselves. We share the same genetics, so everything he has was spread like amongst all of us and we all have that and with some it is hidden and with some it is secretive some it's open some more some less but everything the other person has we have as well and then we can realize ourselves that's how I want to be, that's how I shouldn't be, that's how I want to be, that's how I shouldn't be. So don't curse the other person if they do bad or something evil for them. Ask for their forgiveness, that they shall find the right way and make a dua prayer for them. And then thank the Lord, thank you that I'm not like that. And if you make a mistake, oh, a star for Allah, I shouldn't be like that. I should rather be like that person. See, we've got we got places to compare ourselves and all those pictures. We are all pictures, different kinds of pictures to realize yourself. We are still in need of those pictures to, re to recognize ourselves. You all con are consisting of pictures. So let's take a nice picture. It's a picture. What you are truly are, you are, you are made of, of different kinds of pictures. Because if you look in between, it doesn't look like, so I have to put back all the pictures, just like a puzzle, and piece by piece, and then, then you emerge. But if, if I take it all apart, you are not there anymore. So you consist of picture. Have you understood? Almost. Where does... Where do we get these pieces of wisdom, these pieces of knowledge? As we are on our journey, we are looking through the window and all knowledge, everything that we see are pictures of divine knowledge and wisdom. 
In reality, there is only knowledge and the foundation of all creation, all the foundation of being that has been created consists of divine knowledge and wisdom. Did you make a new discovery? We are on our journey, right? You are on a journey and tell each other what we see. I'll forward everything that I say. Is that good? I saw. From I saw that you consist of thousands of billions of pictures. If I take them all apart and take them away and put them away, you are not there anymore. Well, oh my goodness, well, today you are still here. Later on, there will come be a time and uh, you're going to decompose and then you're not there anymore. But don't be hopeless. This is for all of us. And this is meant as a condolence for you. <laughs> that we're also going to decompose. You're not the only one. Well, if you're with me, then that's how it is. And if you look inside the grave, you're not there anymore. Where are you then? So the picture is gone, my brother. Your picture is gone. But where are you? There once told me someone there was a very old woman and she opened she opened her photo album who to the person who helped take care of her. She said, Look how I once looked Ooh, that caretaker says, You're the most beautiful person. Yes, the lady said, ninety years old. Now now only the picture is nice, but I'm not anymore. That photo there that you see is still beautiful, but me, I'm not anymore. So, so are you that photo in the album, or who are you? That is your secret. You are a secret for yourself. And the human being is on this world, is on this earth with a mission impossible and the chase after his identity. own secret or after his own identity. identity. Identität. Und der and the Sheikh takes you on a journey. You say, I'm on a journey with the Sheikh. Where to? From, From you to, to you. That's the destination. The Sheikh takes all of us, all of each and one of you, on your your very own journey. The journey into the I that is... You can't put that into words. You have to experience it. And then you might have understood it. Without having experienced anything consciously and consciousness, you cannot even take it all in. That is, that it, it goes beyond belief. So it's unbelievable. And nobody expects of you that you understand the sheikh, you are only supposed to follow him. Who tries to understand the sheikh will get off immediately. You cannot understand the sheikh, but you can follow him. Where to? And not until you have understood the sheikh, but you have understood yourself. The sheikh will never try to make you understand him. That's impossible. But the Sheikh gets you on this journey, on your journey with him, that you understand yourself eventually. And then you don't need to say, my, my sister, I don't understand the whole world. You just have to understand yourself, and then you will understand the world. But if you haven't understood yourself yet, will never have understood anything. Well, they understood something because they understood crap. Am I 
Allah give us good guidance and his light shall guide us. Allahu, 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 Allah, 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 Allahumma salli wa salli mala Nabi na Muhammad alayhi salam Salatan tadumu wa tuhta ilayhi Ma marra layali wa tuhta Dawam Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Nabina Muhammad alayhi salam Salatan tatumu wa tuhda ilayhi ma marra layali wa tulat dawam Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Nabina Muhammad alayhi salam Salatan tatumu wa tuhta ilayhi Ma marra layali wa tulat Dawam Allahu 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 Allah Allahu 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 Allah Allahu Allahu Allah, 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 Allah. Only one Sultan, only one Truth. Hurmat al Habib al Fatiha. Merhaba Allah.